Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a heavy duty kayak cart using three quarter of an inch diameter EMT conduit and maker pipe connectors. Now I want to thank the maker pipe community, especially Nancy, for her design which I based my project off of. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. These are the parts I'm going to be using in this project. First I have this garden cart wheel or you can get them at Harbor Freight and it has a 5 8 inner diameter bushing bearing inside. Then for use as the axle I have this 5 8 inch diameter all thread which will be cut to size. And the frame of this project is going to be made from this 3 quarter inch diameter EMT conduit. Then I also have this half inch polyethylene irrigation tube which will be used as a bushing over the axle. Four of these 5 8 inch diameter washers and two corresponding 5 8 inch diameter nuts. Five of these three quarter inch internal diameter chair leg caps. Pieces of pool noodle and this happens to match my kayak for this project. And then you're going to have various maker pipe connectors with this project and I will list each one in the narrative and how many you need to do it the way I did as well as I'll show you close-ups of them when everything's assembled. I decided that I wanted my wheelbase to be 24 inches on center. So that's what this measurement is going to be here. And once I decided that, I ran my threaded rod through both wheels and then put the nut on either end with a washer and then also had a washer on the inside of either of the wheels. So once I had all those things together and I had my center to center distance of 24 inches, I measured the interior width in here and that came out to be 20 inches. And so once I had that, I cut my 3 quarter inch tubing to 20 inches and then the 1 half inch diameter irrigation tube to 20 inches and now I can put everything together. So you can see I have the irrigation pipe over the threaded rod and I just pounded it down with this 2x4 and then once it got below where I couldn't hit it anymore there I just slid the 3 quarter inch EMT tubing over the top and then just pounded it to the other side. Now I'm going to go ahead and assemble everything. So this is the wheelbase now completed and this is what it looks like on either end. So I'm just ready to put the maker pipe 90 connections on it and then start working on each of the sides of this project. I've attached the 90s for each side and I've just left them on there loose right now so once I put everything together then I'll go ahead and tighten everything down. Now when I've dry fit all my pieces together what I have to do is measure what this distance is going to be for one of the cross members so I can get the measurement right. And that's why I haven't tightened everything down to make sure everything fits. Okay, I have everything dry fitted right now just to make sure everything's going to line up. And I actually wrote the lengths of each of these pieces on so I would know what, what and where if I had to take everything apart. So the two longer pieces here that are gonna be underneath the kayak are 30 inches in length. The two center struts in here 
which stabilize everything, are 16 inches in length. And like I said earlier, the axle pipe is 20 inches. And the other four diagonals coming off the 90s, those are each 12 inches. And I'll list all this in the narrative. And then, of course, that one sitting in the center there is going to be a kickstand for stability, and that one is 12 inches. So now all I have to do is tighten everything up and put on my pool noodles. Now I have the cart turned on its side because I wanted to show you a better view of the connections. Now each side is a mirror image of the other. So starting off at the axle, we have the 90 right here, which connects this conduit all the way up to the longitudinal bars. And up at the top, that's a 45. And then for the cross members, you have the T-section here. And that goes for that side as well. And then this whole other side here. There's just a couple of quick tips I want to add. If you're using a pool noodle or some other type of padding on there that is a solid piece with a hole through the center that you can slide it onto the pipe, you need to put those on before you go ahead and finish tightening everything up. Otherwise, you'll have to take one side apart. Now, if you're using a split type of some kind of foam padding, you won't have to go through that. And then I also faced all the Allen head bolts with the head facing out where I could get to them easily if I had to make an adjustment or take something apart. This is the completed project. And as you can see on the ends of the cut conduit, I added the chair leg caps. And the reason I wanted to go with those instead of just regular caps is because you're going to be using it with a kayak and it's probably made out of HDPE or a plastic polymer and it's easily scratched by the edges of the conduit. So by putting these caps on, I'll protect it from that. Now I use three quarter interior diameter chair leg caps and they're too tight to go over the end of the conduit as itself. So what I had to do was use a heat gun and heat them up. Now if you're going to go this way, you have to make sure you wear gloves and then use a tong or a pair of pliers to hold the rubber chair leg cap. And you heat it up until you start to smell burned rubber. Not to say that you want it on fire, but when you start smelling that smell, that means those caps are pliable enough that you can put them on the ends of the conduit. And then also, when I made my cuts on the conduit, I used a hacksaw because that was easier for me than trying to use a pipe cutter. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.